Hi everyone. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to create a custom where clause for a store procedure using datatier.net. I'm going to go ahead and show you what I'm building because it might be easier than trying to explain it. I am building, I have this domain I bought called Nameler, which is just short for name enabler. If you've ever tried to buy a domain name, every domain, it, you know, it's just the greatest scam ever. You know, every combination of words you have to rent every year. But I wrote this little program to fill in the first four, you know, I wanted to check for the first four digits and just see is everything, uh, what's available. And there's 475,000 rows. So what I want to do is my API for my register requires I can only check 500 names at a time. Now I could manage this myself in memory, but I thought it'd be more efficient to get 500 at a time from SQL Server. And it'd be a good demo for this video because I just wrote this new code for how to create a custom where clause. So let's go ahead and demonstrate that. I'm going to first open up. I'll just show you very briefly the little program I'm building called Nameler. And so far there's not a whole lot here. I just have a little, this is my little code where I went through four loops and created the uh, first four digits of the first four characters, you know, for A, 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 A through Z, 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 Z. And here is my little code, and I've already kind of stubbed out our method, but I haven't, since I, I deleted all the code, we're going to go ahead and create it. But so I want to go ahead and do that now. I want to get 500 at a time. So let's go over to datatier.net. I'm going to open up my project for Nambler. Click on Manage Data. I'm going to click on Create New Method. The method type is going to be load by, parameter type of single field, and the parameter field is ID. Now, I'm going to change the default name. I want to say load domain checks in batch. And I also want to say domain check fetch all in batch. I'll just say fetch batch. I'll, I'll leave that at fetch all in batch. It's fine. Okay. And then this is going to be also load in batch that'll work okay now here I want to I don't really have to do this because I'm going to change the where clause but I'm going to say select top 500 just to make sure I don't exceed my API limit or I'll get an invalid response or or they'll complain or something so next I'm going to just say confirm update and this just updates all the places in your project here and hit next now here's the store procedure Here's the default, you know, it does an if exists check and does a drop and create. Now here's the default where clause that's created. Now I'm going to change this and just say instead of equals, I want to say where ID between ID and at ID plus 499. Because I happen to know they're all in exact order because I just inserted them. All right, and now we're going to hit save. Okay, now that's important because when we click update on build, you want to make sure that's uh, the next time if you build again, if you were to add any tables to this, add any field to this table, it would recreate this list here. So that way, for a long time, I had to, you know, when I rebuilt, if I had any fields, I had to go redo my custom methods and it was a real pain. Okay, so I'm going to just insert my store procedure. Now we're going to go over to SQL Server Management Studio and I'll just show you that the, let me, uh, let me, I don't even need that anymore. Okay, and here is our programmability. And here I'll just refresh my list. And here's my fetch all in batch. Okay, so here's our store procedure. Now we're going to build again with datatier.net. So I'll just, you know, let's just uh, build again. Click on store procedures.sql. And I'm going to go down. There's only one table here, so there's only five base methods. And then we have our begin custom method should be not that far to scroll down here. Sorry. Okay, begin. Here it is. Begin custom method. So here is our, and it did it. So it puts our uh, custom where clause in. So just in case we had added a field, you know, and I can execute this. So now... So now I'm going to come back over here to my little program Nambler just to show you what we built. I'm going to uncomment my little stub out here code. If I left all my names, ah, that didn't, sorry, I didn't have that selected right. And let me 
Okay, so I got everything scooted over here. Okay, I didn't call it load domains in batch. What did I call it? Load domain checks in batch. Sorry, I changed the name on it. All right, and I'm going to put a breakpoint here just so we can check our work and make sure that our core procedure does actually work. Okay, now here, just to show you if I open it up, one thing I want to do, I'm going to show you one quick trick. You can do this with any C Sharp class, but it's really useful in this situation. I'm going to override two strings just because that's not very useful if you have to open up each one of those 500 to look at it. We're just going to say over ah, override two string. Now here is something you may or may not like, but regionizer is my Visual Studio package. I hit format selection and that just takes that. That's how I, one of the ways I create regions everywhere. Now I'm going to change this up a little bit and just say initial value string to string equals base dot to string but I want to say if not string dot is null or empty this dot text put a comment if the text exists set the return value and just say to string equals this dot text and then I want to come down here and just say return to string and here I'll say return value comment. All right, so now I've got that, and I'm going to run our little program again, just so you can get a little bit more useful information. Okay, now that is AA through, you know, pretty far. Now I want to move up my, I'm going to run it one more time. I'm going to change my batch ID this time to 501. Eventually I'll put some smarter logic in here. I'm just showing you for a demo. But I want to make sure this works, that we get the next batch. So it should start it further down in the list. So let's just see. Okay. Again, we got 500. Open up. And it starts at SQ. So it does work. So that's what I was trying to demonstrate. So it actually worked. It took me about two takes because I fixed some bugs while I was making this video. But that's how you create a custom weird clause with datator.net. Let me know if you have any questions or problems. And I'll help you even set up your projects if you like. All right. Thank you very much.